Hey my divas and queens, it's your girl DMQ and welcome back to my channel and today we have the exciting review of Urban Decay Gwen Stefani's collection the entire collection or almost yeah it's pretty much except that I don't have all the lipsticks but that's okay I think I get a general gist my shadow palette came out like about a month ago and now there are the lipsticks, the lip liners and the blush palette which are Amazing. So let's get right into it and I will show you a demo of this too. Let's start with the blush palette. First of all, the packaging. Gorgeous, very, very sleek and sturdy. And at first, just like um, the uh, eyeshadow palette, when I saw these little dots, I thought that was like a magnetic palette, kind of like my palette, but it's not, it's just the design. But very, very beautiful. And you see here Urban Decay, Gwen Stefani. This one is white, and let's compare it to the eyeshadow palette. This one is actually in gold, but this one is in white, so that you can sort of tell the difference of which palette you're using. I really believe the blush palette is probably the highlight of the entire collection. First of all, I've been trying out these blushes, and actually, it's not just blush, it's really highlighter as well, because there are a few colors that are really highlighter for not only darker skin tones, but like even for lighter skin tones, at least this one is definitely a highlighter. This one can be a highlighter as well, definitely for darker skin tone girls. And this, and this is more like a bronzer for lighter skin tone girls. So the only problem I have with this particular palette, besides the fact that I do love it, is gorgeous, is long lasting, is amazing, pigmentation, the highlight, oh my good lord. Gorgeous color. The only problem I have with it is that some of these shades are not dark enough for darker skin tone. Even this shade right here, this is the color Cherry. This one right here is even like I really have to work it up to make it show up on my skin and I'm about NC30 for MAC. You see right here? So this is pretty light. Gwen yeah. Stefani is, you know, she has pretty light skin so I guess when she designed a collection, she's really thinking about colors that are for her. So this color barely works on my skin tone. So, and I'm not even that deep so for someone who is darker skin tone, this color is not going to work for you. It's probably not going to show up, it's going to end up looking ashy. This color right here, Lo-Fi, you see in the demo, it kind of works as a contour or like a bronzer, but it's a little bit too light for me. It gives it a little bit of color, but it works probably much better for someone with lighter skin tone. Again, probably not going to work for a darker skin tone girl. You can see how it's pretty close to my skin tone, right? This color Easy is very beautiful and it's probably going to work for most skin tones because it's deep enough and it's this gorgeous mauve color. And I'm going to swatch this one right here too. It has a little bit of shimmery to it and it really is very pretty, especially for the winter. This kind of mauve is very popular. Now, the highlight not just highlighters, but the highlight of this palette are really these two shades. Again, this color is probably going to be a highlighter color for deeper skin tone. Works okay for me as a blush, as I did today. Just a unique peachy, gorgeous color that is shimmery and highlighty and makes your face just glow, right? And this highlight is going to work on all skin tone. This is Angel. Ah, oh, this is bomb. This is seriously bomb. It really is so beautiful. Again, it has that peachy tone, so it's kind of consistent to the theme here. She likes kind of peachy color inspired highlighters and blushes, obviously. And this color right here, OC, is going to be, again, highlight color for some of us because it is pretty light pretty light. And so it's a cute little brow box and when I looked at it, it says bath water blonde. I was like, what am I going to do with bath water blonde? That is definitely not going to work on my brows. But then I was like, well, you know, I'll just give it a try anyway. And to my surprise, it works actually kind of okay. I have it on and you see it on a demo. But as you know, Urban Decay has these uh, eyebrow shadow box before and they have different shades. So this is kind of like been in their collection, but they just like basically reinvented it and call it Gwen Stefani, which will suit 
I think actually most skin tones, to my surprise, it might be pretty universal. And so there are two shades, they're kind of like ashy gray, and the shade right here is a little bit deeper, so I start with this one right here, and then I pick up this one towards the end of my brows, and I use this waxy stuff to set it. And in the bottom is kind of cute, it has three things, it has a mirror also. It has two very, very workable uh, slanted brushes so that you can use it, and then also like this uh, tweezer right here. So this is quite handy dandy, definitely you can bring it along with you if you need to work on your brows. Now the eyeshadow palette, however, lovely, lovely colors. I, I love the colors. There are some mattes and some shimmers and the pigmentation is really, really great, easy to blend and you'll see a demo using this palette. Okay, let me just say this. There are some standout colors that I want to just give a shout out to that I thought were exceptional, unique and different. And one is um, 1987. I've worn this one day and I thought, wow, that is not a color that I would normally reach to nor do I see anywhere. And I think it's just really unique and it works really well on my skin tone. So that's the color. It's really pretty, right? Another color I want to give a shout out to is Danger, which I thought, wow, now that's an amazing blue. Look at that pigmentation, right? That is amazing. So this color steady is going to surprise you. You're like, look at the pan and you see all these light shades and you're like, oh, another light shimmery shade. But this particular kind of deeper pink, I don't know how to explain it, I think is really beautiful. And that's the color I have all of my lid. Now those are the standout colors that I love. The rest, I love them too, but I'm not so much of a person that is drawn to light shimmery shades and I feel like there are a lot of them and yes when you swatch them they all look really different and but the finish is similar like this one this one this one this one this one those colors they're all shimmery light shades which are not colors I'm drawn to I usually use those colors in the in a corner and so it's kind of up to you and yes I know we have darker shades but like these are colors that I normally have and see regularly just like different shades of browns like these matte browns in the middle and they're pretty and everything they're great for blending in the crease but it's not anything extraordinary to me that's just my opinion do I still like the palette very much but do I love it I wouldn't say so I feel like there are other Urban Decay palettes that are much more exciting yeah with a variety of colors that are just so unique and different. Here I'm finishing my demo for you and I'm using as many colors as I can just so that you get an idea of how well this palette blends, what the possibilities are, what kind of colors and finishes there are. I hope that you enjoy this. In terms of lip liners, there are a total of six colors and one of the colors is only available on UrbanDecay.com and that color is called Phone Call. Here, let's, let me swatch you these three. Now, these are really fantastic. They glide on really smoothly and it really keeps the lipstick from feathering. So I highly actually recommend that you use these lip liners along with the lipsticks because the lipsticks by themselves, I've tried with the lip liners they feather pretty bad in the middle of the day and not only does it feather, it just gets everywhere because it's creamy and it's like, ah, oh, that's sticky. So I really encourage you to get that. So let's talk about the first color right here. This one is called Rock Steady, and it's this shade right here. Here's Ex-Girlfriend and it's this nude color in the middle. And here's Firebird. By the way, that's a piece by Stravinsky and it's what I'm wearing right now.
So there are a total of six colors and they come in cream, sheer, and mattes. Let's start with Firebird, which is the one I'm wearing. That, I'm crazy about the color. And by the way, this is the packaging. So Firebird is a gorgeous fuchsia cream color and it goes on very nicely. I have to say, most of these lipsticks, I feel like, I mean, they go on pretty well, but like I said, they do feather and also they feel sticky. I don't like how they feel. Now, you guys know that I'm a drugstore person, so I use a lot of drugstore lipsticks and I feel like most of the drugstore lipsticks feel better than these, which surprised the heck out of me. I really don't like this sticky feeling. The pigmentation's fine, but it's like it's it's like okay only. Here's Rock Steady. I've used this color and I thought it was so awesome and that day that was a day when I did not put the lip liner, which was a major mistake, and it was like everywhere, feathering everywhere throughout the day. Color itself, awesomeness. This is Ex Girlfriend, and it's a sheer nudish color. Now this one, because of his sheerness, you really do need the lip liner to kind of like nude out your lips a little bit, otherwise it will come out a little bit like a gloss or like a lip balm. It's not gonna show up because it is sheer. Here's a plate and it is sheer. But it's actually not too sheer. It shows up pretty nicely. And this is Phone Call which is an awesome color and I'm really sad because I did not get the lip liner for it. So what's my conclusion about the entire collection? Should you Go get it or not? Okay, here's what I think. Lipsticks, I would skip. I feel like you can find these for better quality, for a lot cheaper in the drugstores. Um, I feel like the quality is okay. The lip liners, fantastic. I love them. The eyeshadow palette, I feel like if you like shimmery, light shades, because there are a lot of them, then go for it. If you're not a person like me who likes light shimmery shades, I wouldn't do it because even the other shades are nice, some of them. You need to spend $58 a pop on that. I feel like the other Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes have a lot more varieties, like the Naked ones, or even the Feist palettes. The brow box is cute. It's okay. I like it, and I think it's cute, so you might want to try that out. Again, I think the best of the collection is the blush palette. It's about the Urban Decay collection. So that's my two cents about the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani collection. I generally like it, but there are some things that are better than others. So I hope that this review is helpful to you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!